Welcome back, we got Gurn. <laughs> Welcome back, this is Yamaha Jack. We got Gunslinger, Burning Paris, Suicidal. Let's go. It's been a while since I played Gunslinger. It's been almost a week or two weeks, even actually, since I played Gunslinger. So I might be a little bit rusty, but, um. You know, just bear with it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to be in God tier again in, uh, in no time flat, okay? It'll happen. Don't even worry about it. That's more like it. All right. Yeah, I like I like gunslinger. It's the speed that uh, that you just don't get anywhere else. That uh, it's just very very satisfying to make it play. That makes it very very satisfying to play rather. It just it feels faster. Yeah, you, know, you are faster, but like the gameplay feels faster. And I guess to a certain extent, maybe it is, but. I don't know, it feels like about 10 to 15 minutes for a suicidal run and about like 12 to 17 minutes for a uh, Hell on Earth run is generally pretty normal, regardless of class. So, yeah, it's maybe not necessarily the fastest thing out there, but, you know, it's probably the fastest is, uh, well, maybe, maybe Gunslinger's the fastest if you're really good, but at my level, I feel like doesn't really matter what perk I'm playing, it's all going to be pretty much the same thing. Generally speaking. Anyway. But, Gunslinger is a barrel of fun. So, I will I will play it anyway. Love me some Gunslinger. Oh yeah, cannot one-shot them. Not until this is upgraded, which is uh, very important to do. For that reason, really. That wasn't a hit. Get out of here, dude. Aw, oh, these guys with Gunslinger. No big deal at all. Let's go. Oh, it feels so good to be back to Gunslinger. Like, I like Demolitionist. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. But there's just something about this... This Gunslinger playstyle that just, to me, it just feels... I don't know, so good. It feels like second nature, almost. You know, it feels like an extension of me. This is this is me. This is my main. No matter, no matter where I go... You can always rest easy, Gunslinger, knowing I will be back to you. I will be back to you. I will not be good at you for a bit, but I will I will definitely return. Yeah, I still don't have one of my players one of my players in uh in uh D and D still doesn't have um, a copy of Tabletop Simulator, and it's 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 honestly it's really annoying um, because like I have to I think like, I have to put in extra work to make it work for him because like everybody else is in the game, so I can set everything up in the game and then make sure it works for him. And then for him, I have to get it streaming. I have to make sure that. Uh, I have things set up the right way on my computer to make sure that the streaming can actually work. I have to make sure I'm facing the right direction so that he can see everything in the game and it kind of blocks my ability to use some tools that I would otherwise like to be able to use because I want to make sure that he has a, a view of the game. And then, like, I couldn't build, like, interactive elements so much because he wouldn't have access to it. So he wouldn't be able to move the mouse or, like, actually interact with anything in the game. So I'm just like, it's just, it's limiting me more than anything else. So he doesn't want me to buy it for him, which is, is fine. But it's, it's getting to the point now where it's, 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 it's lose, lose for, uh, for both of us, for him, for me to not buy it for him. So I'm like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting close to the point where I'm just gonna be like, no, you're, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're not being nice by, by making me not buy it. You're just, you're just being annoying. So you get it. It's, get, it's getting close to the point where, uh, 
where I will buy it for him. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see how the next session goes. But now that we're out of the homebrew stuff, or now that we're out of the, um, the not homebrew stuff, there's just so much stuff I want to try, and some of them kind of require the, the interaction in the game, and uh, I can't really do that. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but... We'll see. They just... I'm so bad at shooting those guys. Because they just weave in with, like, my shots. Their heads just... They're so good at weaving my shots, you know? Do I hear a scrake? Give me a takedown. Let's go. I've wanted a takedown. Yeah. Look, the demo takedown feels good, too. You get that scrake shot RPG to the face. It feels good. It feels really good. But, man... There's just there's something about four eagle shots to the face that uh, that that uh, that an RPG just can't replace, you know. There's something about it that you just you can't get from uh, from an RPG. So I don't know. I might buy him tabletop simulator and just be like, look, I bought it already. You have to take it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but. People try to be nice about it too, right? And they, they don't want to take your gift. So I'm like, I don't know. It's just, just take my gift, please. People get stubborn about it, right? They get, they get stubborn about it. And uh, that's the one that really gets me. Is when, when they're like, just stubbornly refusing to accept something that would make your life easier because they don't want to like inconvenience you. And it's like, it's not even about inconveniencing me at that point. And it's, it's just about your pride. You don't, you don't want to take it because you don't want to be given something, but... Like, you're just making it worse for everybody. And that's that's not quite the situation that we're in with, uh, with the D&D group. I'm, I'm talking about just a, a hypothetical situation here. Where uh, where people turn something down that, that would make everybody's lives easier just because they don't want to be given something for free. They don't want to... They're, they're not a charity, you know? It's like, look, it's not, it's not about being charity. It's, it's just you take the thing and everybody's happier for it. Oh, yeah, that's not what's happening here. I'm not. I'm not saying that they're being stubborn. Um, but like in the past, uh, I've I've like bought things for people, and then they're like, "No, I can't accept this." And I'm like, "I've already paid for it. Please just take it." They're like, no, no, I'm not. I'm, I can't accept that from you. That's too much. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm like, it's not even about too much. Like you've already, I've already paid for it. I've already spent the money. Just please get some use out of it. Like, well, I, I don't want I don't want to put you out like that. It's like I've, I've already paid for it. So I don't know. Sometimes sometimes people can be a little bit stubborn. Oh hello, how's it going, bud? <laughs> I didn't know he was there. That could have been bad if I hit him earlier. <laughs> If I hit him earlier, I probably would have killed him earlier, but still. Scary moment, man. Scary moment. Scary moment. Yeah, we have, like, no money as the gunslinger either, right? Like, as, as, the, as, the, as the demo, you get all that money. At the end, you got, like, 6,000, 7,000 gold to dosh, to toss out. You know, you don't get that as the, as the gunslinger, because you have to spend so much on your weapons. Maybe demo played properly would do the same. You know, maybe it's saying something that I'm spending so much less money on demo. But I don't know. I'm having fun as as demo when I play demo. I find it fun personally. So I think I'm doing okay. Okay. I really want to try and get like a a run where I just don't get hit to this guy at all. So I think that'd be really cool to do. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do it because I've I've almost done it before. I just I haven't quite managed to not take it. I've taken one hit. This is the best that I've done, and I would love to be able to do it without getting any hits. So what happens is the quarter pound spawn, and then they start to hit me, and I take like a hit to them, and 
that kind of messes things up a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for a for a perfect boss fight here. Oh dang, we got stuck. Okay, well let's just commit to the the killing him off real quick then. Let's just commit. You know, if you're going to get hit, you can take him out a lot quicker, right? We were close. If I just if I didn't get stuck there, it would have been uh, would have been fine, but What can you do, right? What can you do? What can you do? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I got I to gotta show this stuff off first, though.